Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, where Let's Playing Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we helped Uri get back to Zebot in, you know, her life of servitude and everything. We helped Armand fix all that. Anyways, let's go see Armand, because I think they'll have something special for us. So let's talk to... Yes. Yay! Nice, she's gonna give us a shard. Sweet, sassy, molassy. Alright. Damn right I want that shard. You throw it away, it means the world's gonna be totally ruined. So now that we have that, let's go to the mech soldier's base. In the east. Whoops. Yeah. Because that's the last part of this place we haven't checked yet. Well, there, actually, there's there's a little more, but we'll look into it later. Anyways, there's a fortune teller down there. And basically, what this fortune teller does is that if you're having any trouble in the game locating any shards, or just, like, where to go in the game, you can totally talk to her for free, Get you know, without getting charged, like Pamela and uh, Ingnau. And uh, you learn where you learn where there's a uh, where there's stuff. And basically, if we don't know where that is, then then uh, what is it? If we don't know where that is, then um, we haven't been there yet, like she said. And basically, this mech soldier base has been abandoned for quite some time, so there's really no enemies in here except two. Which we will run into because I'm an idiot. Probably we'll run into him. Oh no. There's one enemy, and look, he totally whipped our butt. And here's how full HP works. Basically, they, the characters have heal spells that totally heal your, the other characters. It's pretty easy to explain. And we get ourselves a strength seed. Yay! We'll use that later. Let's continue. But yeah, um... I think after this we're gonna work a little bit on the immigrant town and then, uh... continue with what's going on. Now granted, you can, oh, the immigrant town, you can only get immigrants from the present to go into the town. And secondly, uh, what else? Secondly, yeah, there. I think they can either be found at a the churches or, or the inns. Oh, so yeah, basically that's how that works. Mm, what else? Yeah, so we'll just go to the couple places we've released and see if there's anyone who who's there who wants to join in our immigrant town. Nothing over here. Just like before. And now we can go here. And there's really only one treasure. In this thing. Oh no. Woo! See, there's two enemies down here. And we get ourselves an iron claw, but it's not as good as the iron axe, so. It's alright. Oh yeah. So yeah, that would have been the same thing if you came back here in the in the past. Yeah, there's nothing over here, so basically what I'm gonna do is probably just meet you outside. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, now that we're out here, let's go look for actually I should probably go more east and see if that bridge is fixed. Nah, we'll do that later. Let's check uh Rexwood for any um, immigrants. Yeah, they'll either be in the inn or in the church, I believe. Yeah, and they have some stuff to say, but I'm not going to talk to everybody. Wow, he thinks... Oh, that sucks. We totally helped Hank out. So let's check 
check the, uh... Let's check the temple. But yeah, we totally hang helped Hank out. That's, that's a load of HS. So let's go to the next place, which would be, uh, Ignal. And, uh... See if anyone's in the um the inn there. I don't think anyone would be in the temple. No. No, this guy doesn't want to join our group or our town. Mmm, I already talked to you, damn it. So let's see if there's anyone in the temple. Or the Nope, nothing. Alright, let's try the next place. Which would be... Orf! Orf, baby. Orf. Let's hope someone's here. Come on. Someone be... Oh, it's an old man. Look at that, we got an old man. Hooray. So yeah, you need, this game, in case you don't know, is two discs long, and at the end of the first disc, you should have the max amount of people, which is 27 in there, and then the second disc, you have, you're able to get the next 13 people, making your immigrant town totally full, and then from there, you can, uh, you can, you can kick out people and make your town into certain things. One way is you can have a lot of nuns and, and priests in there, and it'll become a nun and like a holy town. Uh, another thing you can do is you can have like a lot of thieves and, and the Viking guys, and then have it like a slum and a grand slum, and you'll get different various items from that. And then the last way you can do it is if you get a lot of uh, shops and you can make it a merchant town or, or a casino type town. And you can get a bunch of different items there. So, your immigrant town will be pretty cool. And basically, when you talk to these people, they'll tell you where you're from, they're from and if they're enjoying where they are. And all that jazz. So, there you go. That's basically how the immigrant town is going to work. I'm going to try to do it. But there's actually a couple of mini games or mini side quests that I won't be doing. Or, or I'll do it a little bit, but won't be doing it totally. Anyways, let's head back to Falrod. No, let's head back to the ruins. Or maybe Falrod, whatever. Ah, screw it. Instead of uh, going to the ruins, let's actually head over to the bridge east of here because they said that the you know the bridge is out in the past but is it out in the future that's what we're gonna have to or the present whatever that's what we're gonna have to find out so let's uh let's go there anytime uh me there we go uh yeah so let's head over here as you remember in the past it wasn't there was nothing uh you know it was closed so let's look and see what's here a cat and a door that doesn't want to open and what do we got up here some guy god is here and so is the bliss rock what god doesn't have a physical form oh okay uh so there's some sort of uh so god doesn't have uh form or some crap I don't know that's really confusing for us right this moment in time so we're not gonna pay too much attention to it just uh, know that God's not around God is not around and let's see if there's anything else over here actually let's check that little island up there so we have to walk back to the ship which is at a different spot because uh, this is basically well it's just at a different spot so let's just head there 
and then head over to that little island over there hopefully there's uh, something if not well then after this we'll definitely go to the ruins and head to the next area which is pretty which is an alright area but yeah so something about God ah darn it there's nothing here anyways I will meet you back at the ruins in the next episode See ya.